In this video we're going to look at reaction time. We're going to define reaction time, then talk about reaction time in sport, how distractions increase your reaction time, and the effect that this has on us in science. So reaction time is the time that it takes your body to react to a stimulus. So whatever this stimulus might be, it might be hearing the gun in a 100 metre sprint, it might be seeing something coming towards your face. It's the time it takes your body to recognise that something is there and then react, uh, react to it. For example, getting out of the way. One thing that athletes do to decrease their reaction time is they train their starts so that they can get their reaction time smaller and smaller and thus get better times in their sport. In the 100 metre sprint, reaction time is very important because you're looking at something that only takes 10 seconds. That split second can be the difference between winning a race and coming last. The studies have shown that it takes about 0.1 of a second for your ear to hear the starter gun and your body to react by firing your muscles and making your start. So what they've done in the 100 metre sprint is they've banned anything less than this, so anything less than 0.1 second between the gun going off and a person leaving their starting blocks is considered a false start. And Usain Bolt was recently disqualified for uh, breaking this 0.1 seconds. If you're distracted for whatever reason, so if you're driving, maybe you're texting or changing the radio or doing your makeup uh, or have had a few beers, the reaction time that you have is severely increased. And this can mean that it takes longer for you to put your foot on the brake and therefore longer for you to stop if you need to in an emergency. So in science, when we're doing experiments, what we need to do is realise that reaction time is an issue and the reaction time of you seeing something happen to pressing the button on a stopwatch, for example, uh, can change the time. So it does have an effect on the time. And what we need to do is try and minimise this effect in any way we can. One way we can do this is by using uh, machines to time for us. So for example, having uh, timing gates uh, that when you run through them it breaks a beam and sets a time rather than a person timing uh, or something that we might do is have multiple runs of the one thing uh, to average out and minimize that reaction time or spread the error from the reaction time over multiple movements. In this video we have defined reaction time as the time that it takes your body to react to a stimulus. We've talked about reaction time in sport and athletes decreasing their reaction time but not too much for, so they get disqualified uh, being lower than 0.1 second in the 100 meter sprint. We've talked about distractions increasing your reaction time and the effect that this has on science and on the experiments that we do.